Hi, I'm Skylar. To improve the GPS accuracy of your iPhone, there are a number of different things you could do. For example, move away from buildings, move away from trees, move away from sources of electricity. So like running car engines or a microwave oven. Some of these things put out a lot of interference or cause interference because of the way they affect the transmission of radio waves. Any of those things can diminish the accuracy of your GPS. Now, the GPS in, say, iPhone 5 reaches out to both um, GPS and GLONASS satellites. The GLONASS are a uh, similar set of navigation satellites to GPS, except at a much higher altitude. So it has really good accuracy, positional accuracy, pretty much wherever you are. The GPS chip functions even if the phone doesn't have an internet connection. If you'd like an application which gives you a really good idea of how accurate the sensors in this device are, you might want to check out something called Theolodite. You can see that it displays a lot of really useful information, including position, altitude, time, my elevation, and my angle, as well as my horizon, my azimuth bearing. That's incredibly useful. All of these things can be manipulated with the buttons on the interface. And it's pretty cool to be able to see directly through into this augmented reality display. And a little bit of video feedback just for you to have a little bit of fun. OK, so that's an application that might make it easier for you to navigate. If you're looking for a piece of hardware that makes your iPhone even more robust when it comes to a navigation um, application, you may look for this called Bad Elf GPS. This one is specifically made for the lightning connector. And it'll even work with an iPod Touch. But this works with both the GPS and GLONASS location support. Has a lot of different cool features and an app that they developed specifically. One thing I'd like to draw your attention to right here is that it has 2.5 meter or 9 foot accuracy, which is incredibly impressive. It's a 66 channel GPS and GLONASS receiver. And for the price, which I believe is about $150, if you're serious about the accuracy of your geolocation system, you might want to check that out. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyline.